Transport Phenomena in Biosystem Module 3, Viscosity and Momentum Segment 4, Convective Momentum Transport. With me, Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about Newton's Law of Viscosity, Generalization of Newton's Law of Viscosity, as well as pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity. In this segment, we will discuss about convective momentum transport. In the previous segment, we have discussed about the molecular transport of momentum, and this led to a set of quantities pi ij, which give the flux of j momentum across a surface perpendicular to the i direction. Momentum can also be transported by the bulk flow of the fluid, and this process is called convective transport. Let's consider a cube-shaped region in space through which the fluid is flowing as shown in the right figure. At the center of the cube, the fluid velocity vector is v. We will consider three mutually perpendicular planes, particularly the shaded planes, through the point x, y, z, and we are interested to know how much momentum is flowing through each of them. Each of the planes is taken to have unit area. The volume rate of flow across the shaded unit in A is Vx. This fluid carries with it momentum rho V per unit volume. Hence, the momentum flux across the shaded area is Vx rho V. Note that this is the momentum flux from the region of lesser rex to the region of greater rex. Similarly, the momentum flux across the shaded area in B is Vy rho V, and the momentum flux across the shaded area in C is Vz rho V. These three vectors rho Vx V, rho Vy V, and rho Vz V describe the momentum flux across the three areas perpendicular to their respective axes. Each of these vectors has an x, y, and z component. The x, y, and z components can be arranged as shown in the table. The quantity rho Vx Vy is the convective flux of y momentum across a surface perpendicular to the x direction. This should be compared with the quantity pi xy, which is the molecular flux of y momentum across a surface perpendicular to the x direction. The sign convention for both modes of transport is the same. The collection of nine scalar components given in the table can be represented as shown in equation 310. Since each component has two subscripts, each associated with a coordinate direction, rho vv is a second order tensor. It is also called the convective momentum flux tensor. For the next module, we will discuss about shell momentum balances and velocity distribution. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.